right, guys, here with another Trainer Confidential for the week. Uh, we had an exciting show. I know, I know I've said it several times. I think Donnie has, too, who we want to see on the Olympia stage. Uh, we had the Vancouver Pro, and uh, Mustafa won it. So Yeah, he got one. Yeah, so, I mean, he's he's uh, he. this is his third show this year, I believe. Third yep. show, and he got second last two mm-hmm. shows in the Toronto and uh, 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 what was the other one? Uh Oh, the one that we just had, uh, the Orlando. So, right. so, and he was, you know, I mean, it, I remember bringing up the scorecards when we were talking about it and they, he was like one point off. I think it was on the Orlando. Yeah. Land- yeah. 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 Uh, you know, Ian Valier was quite a bit ahead of him in the, uh, Toronto, but yeah. So we're going to see Mustafa on stage and, uh, I'm going to bring up some picks in my opinion. I, I started looking at his picks from Toronto, uh, to now and, He's way more conditioned. <laughs> it's those yeah, and, things. Yeah, and, and the thing about this, this show wasn't very deep. There was only six competitors and stuff, you know. But and yeah. so, but you really can't say, well, you know, it was it was it, because he brought a better package. He did bring if a he better had brought package. this package to one of his earlier shows? He may not have had to have done this show. You're absolutely you know right. What I'm saying, You're you know, so right. that that that's the one thing that you you have to consider. Yeah, but here we have another show, uh, just like the New York Pro. Remember New York Pro, we had basically two competitors that were, you know, good. Mm-hmm. Same mm-hmm. thing here. We had Stanimal and we had uh, 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 Mustafa. So let's let's get right into it. I'm going to bring up the scorecards first. So here's the scorecards here. Uh, Mustafa, I mean, he he uh, he kicked ass. He he you know he got a six. Uh, uh, Stanimal was uh, uh, second, and he got 12. So uh, Mustafa was quite a bit ahead of everybody there. Right. It, yeah, yeah. It was – It was. He, he definitely brought, you know, a better, a, a much better package, and, and, and it showed, you know, it showed what happens when, when he puts everything together. So, yeah. I mean, but I tell you what, this – this um this um Stan guy, I mean – Boy, he you know his story is pretty interesting. I mean, he started out in physique. Yes, physique. You know, he was a physique exactly. competitor. Then he went to classic, and now now he's now he's a legitimate open bodybuilder. That's yeah. That's you know I, you, I got got to take that in consideration too. So yeah, that's, that's huge. Pretty good. Uh, uh, when do you? Uh, how long ago was he doing physique? I don't know. Don't know. I, as a matter of fact, I just found out about that today. Just um, you know, putting my yeah, ear on sure the tracks. He's you know, uh, it's, it's it's not really that it's not really that bad a lineup. I mean it's 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 you know no. it's just that you only got six guys. Yeah, you got six guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and I found after watching a lot of the uh, a lot of the show and stuff, I found my eyes were going to stand <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, well, well, the thing, the thing about it is that you're right. I mean, as a matter of fact, I'm seeing it here. But the thing, the thing about it is, and this is a rule of thumb, you know, you know, if you got someone of equal conditioning, <laughs> you know, uh, it's gonna go to the bigger guy. It's gonna know? go to That's, the bigger guy. It, yeah, it's it's gonna go to the bigger guy, provided that he's his his structure is fairly decent the whole nine yards. And I, I mean. Would you... Would you say Mustafa is probably one of the most uh, most muscular guys in bodybuilding? I mean, carrying is mo- the most muscle, some of the most muscle. I mean, next to I wouldn't say more than Rami, but he's. I, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would say so. Um, yeah. the 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 and the thing about that is, it probably for him to get the minute detail that he needs to bring those muscles out, he probably has to go through something. He probably has to go through two or three shows. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, his muscles are just that dense. You know, yes. I mean, for, you know, I, I, there are quite a few bodybuilders, up, you know, that would actually work against them. Yeah. You know what I mean? If they're doing consecutive shows like that, because then they're, 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 they're losing some, you know, they're losing some momentum and stuff. But, but because Masafa's muscles are so thick and so dense, you know, he can go long periods, you know, of competing and not lose that fullness. Right now, he probably he probably feels flat as a pancake. Yeah. <laughs> he is very, very, very full. Yeah. Yeah. He certainly is. I'm pretty excited about this. I said, I think it was last episode. I want to see Mustafa on the Olympia stage. Uh, and, he, and he made it. So 
Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, I want to also go through a couple of his uh, other shows. We'll go to the uh, uh, Orlando. That was the last one. Uh, here's the Orlando here. So, and don't get me wrong. I mean, he he he's he's his condition is good. Yeah. You know, and and there's and and there's a difference between you know good and great. You know, some people you know that you, you're they're at that status to where they need to be great to really to really uh to really uh do some damage. You know, I mean, yeah. you can come in good. That's fine. You know, you know he's never off, but you know sometimes he's good and sometimes he's just really great. And this time yeah. he was just really great and and, hasn't and, been consistent, and he got rewarded I, for it. I think you're onto something about the three shows because he's had he and that's why I wanted to go back to this. I want to go to Toronto too. He's definitely bettered from the Toronto to the Vancouver. He just need he just needed a couple pre shows. That's what it was. Uh, yeah, and and and, and it, it, it this is it works for some bodybuilders and it doesn't. And and the, the the I think it tends to work better for bodybuilders that really have a lot of muscle. They can go those long stretches. On, on low calories and and and, uh, and 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 not lose their fullness. Yeah, you know, still have a lot of muscle left. You know, there there aren't a lot of bodybuilders that are going to be, especially hard gainers, wouldn't be able to do that. I would yeah. not do that with no. a hard gainer. You know, I but then again, they don't need a lot of they don't they wouldn't need a lot of shows anyway. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be going to nail it the first time. I got a feeling if I did three shows by the end of the third show, I'm going to look better. I'm going to look better my second show. But my third show, I don't think I would look as good as I did my first and second. I mean, that's just my body. I don't. I don't feel like I would. Uh, so, well, like I said, a big congrats. Yeah, yeah. To Mustafa, he's, he's been putting in the work, man. And his quads are just insane. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 got he's got a freak factor to him. So he's 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 along the lines of a. Uh, of um of um like a Tom Platt or Paul DeMeo or some someone like that. He's got that freak factor. So you know, let's see let's let's see how that helps him in the Olympia. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited to see what 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 he will do. Uh I mean because there's gonna be some competitors at the Olympia this year. It's it's not gonna be an easy show. Uh so oh that's a good shot there. So what might he do to actually have a chance and say top five. I mean, what would you? So I, I, it depends on how many weeks he's out at right now. I don't know how many weeks it is at the Olympia. I'm pretty sure he's probably weeks. got that on his war calendar. Yeah, I think it's 17 weeks. He's 17 weeks. I believe so. Yeah. So I would probably say maybe just go up no more than maybe 10 pounds. Uh huh. You know, and and a lot of that's going to be water, and, and 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 you know, and so you know, because he's he's probably pretty dry right now, and then I would just hover on that, you know. Yeah. You know, it's not like he's going to shrivel up or anything like that. You know, I would just, you know, keep the feet a little bit more on the gas. Don't let off the gas a little bit too much, but enough to where you know you can enjoy. You got seventeen weeks right now. I'd say he puts on ten. If he puts on ten more pounds, you know. And just cruise at that. He can probably start his his. He can probably start his prep again at about ten, eight to ten weeks out. And I and I think with a guy like that, I think he can easily put on another ten pounds in that time. Well, I mean, I'm talking about this, this. This is just I'm talking about just from rehydrating and. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And yeah, I'm not trying. Don't don't try oh, to put on any more muscle. He doesn't really have to try to put on any more muscle. Yeah. You know, he's just gonna he's, he's, his his calories are gonna go up, and you know he's gonna fill back out. And I'd, I'd say. 10 maybe 15 pounds you yeah. know i wouldn't I, i'd be the time i wouldn't get him completely off of cardio I'd, I'd take it down to a minimum but i wouldn't get completely out cardio yeah you know the only thing that's holding him back is his midsection i think i've said it before he he he's got a big midsection and it works against him well uh, it's, it's 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 and i guess that's i guess that that would his front double on bicep and stuff doesn't really appear that that bad. I don't know what his side no. tricep is like. I don't see core affects uh, side tricep shots, uh, abdominal thigh shots. Um, you know, some poses he 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 looks fairly aesthetic, and then sometimes you you can you can see the waist, but 
He, yeah. he knows it's not, it's not like his it's not like his structure is terrible, you know. It's not it's not that it's it's you know when you compare him to other guys, you know they didn't have a, a little better structure. So yeah, here's the Toronto. And he was going up against Ian Valier there, and Ian Valier he he was he really brought a good package at that show, and he's he's still he's still looking pretty good. I'm I'm pretty excited to see where Ian ends up this year for this okay. next. Uh, uh, I mean, look at that back shot from Ian there. It's kind of small, but geez. <laughs> yeah, Mustafa. I don't know how old he is. He's from Egypt too. Uh, Rami's from Egypt too, right? Yeah, Rami's Egypt too. Yeah. Yeah. Both big dudes from Egypt. All right, look, I'm gonna check out Stanimal now. Yeah, Stanimal. He, he that's 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 pretty impressive. You know, he just basically got outsized with this one. Yeah, his condition did. was his condition was spot on. I I figure I I I feel like his aesthetics is better because he's got the smaller waist and you know right yeah and he he did and but the thing about it, like I said if, if Mustafa was off just a little bit Stan probably would have taken him out and stuff you know but yeah but uh, yeah. he he um he he Mustafa you know he he brought he brought that conditioning you know it's third time third time's a charm for him yeah oh they're side they're side by side here. Look at that sweep of Mustafa's quad. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, it's, it's taper and his waist, his waist to lat taper isn't that bad. It's not that bad. You know, he's got a good, pretty decent flare on his lat. Everything seems, you know, I mean, he's bigger, and that's what makes his structure looks different. He's just bigger than than yeah. uh, than Stan is. Yeah, he is. He is. He's got like, a much bigger footprint. Stan's a little taller too. It looks like. Or maybe not. Yeah, he he he's, he looks like he's a hair bit taller. Yeah, you know. I mean, all I can stand hamstrings and stuff, but you know, I mean, like, like I said, Mustafa's hamstrings aren't bad neither. He's got he's got yeah. that stuff coming in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go. I want to see a shot. Now, side. I don't know. I don't know why he does his side tricep like that. That that kind of, you know, that, to me, I think it makes his waistline look thicker. Uh, I don't know why he's he does his side tricep like that though. Yeah, well, I wonder it because I mean, from front to back, he is pretty thick in the in the midsection, uh, and it might be why he's doing it. He just just doesn't like that that shot. I don't I don't know. I wonder if we can get a uh, get some pre judging and actually see. Uh, oh, we're still on, Stanimal. Yeah. The Stanimal, he's pretty impressive. He's uh uh. He fills out some more. He, I mean, he fills out some more. He's he 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 will be um, he'll be someone to 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 to, to look out for. So yeah, I agree. I, I agree. do. He's, yeah, he's fairly new. I mean, he didn't get on my radar. Well, last couple of months, I, I started hearing about him because uh, well, he's doing some uh, shows overseas. Matter of fact, I think he's doing he's doing another show overseas. I believe with uh, I believe he's going to be doing the show with uh, uh Sheer uh. Oh, what's his name? He's probably trying to qualify for the Olympia. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the thing about the thing, the thing about is now is I think most of your front runners and stuff like that. I think the later you get, the closer. I think the easier it is going to for him to for him to to get it because all of the big names have already qualified and stuff, you know. And so, yeah, you know, um, I, 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 he'll stand. On, I, I don't see no reason why he shouldn't qualify. I don't think he brings if he brings that level of conditioning. Who do we got? Who do we got left that's not qualified? We got uh, Labrada. He's doing the Texas Pro. Uh, uh, ooh, we got uh, uh, Sergio. I Sergio. thought Sergio qualified. He did. I thought he did. Maybe he didn't know. I don't, I don't know. think he did. No. Okay. Because he hasn't. Okay. You know, he was going to do the Arnold. Uh, uh, the Arnold Brazil, and he couldn't make that. He did the. Uh, uh, the Orlando was it the Orlando? Mm -hmm. One of those two, but he didn't make it. Matter of fact, if he got no, he got was it the Orlando? He got second. Yeah, what is one of those? He got second. That yeah. could have been it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so he's not qualified yet. Uh, uh, who else do we got? Hmm. 
But like I said, I, I think I think Stan. He, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be able to get it. So is is Hall getting Stead close qualified? though? Huh? Is Hall instead qualified? I don't know. Do not know. Yeah, but Mustafa is. He is. He certainly is. I know I've said it a few times. I want to see him up on the stage. I, you know, I, I'm not going to say he got hosed. I think I think the the last uh, uh, two shows he was in was pretty spot on. But he was just mm -hmm. that close. Just right. that close. like I said, you know, Mustafa on those ones. You know, sometimes being good is not good enough. You got to be great. Yeah, yeah. And he uh, did that so he can take a minute to reflect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> First couple of shows, he was good. This last show, he was great. He's got some work to do, man. And what that's the thing about it is, is you got to repeat that. Now he's got to be great at the Olympia. Yeah. Do you, you think know? he would make top 10 right now off the top of your head with who we got in there? Um, Hard to say. I don't think he would as of, as of now. I just. Hard to say. <sighs> but if things change and somebody's off and that's all it takes. And That's the main thing right now. But the thing about it is this: all, all the, the 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 that upper tier, you know, they've uh, they 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 either qualified from last year, yeah, or they've already qualified, yeah, and they're taking this time, you know, to, to they got a lot of runway to, to 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 prepare for this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You got like Lunsford, you know. He <laughs> He's been preparing the whole time. He hasn't had a prep for a show or nothing. He started, right, right. Think, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, he's just been sitting back and waiting. So really excited to see what kind of package he brings. I already know it's going to be good. And I, yeah, and, and you know, when you, when you get when you when you have that much time, that you you start getting hungry for it and stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Yep. Sometimes, and when the contest when when they're when they're too close, you know, especially if you're doing multiple shows and stuff, you know, you can get a little get, get a little competition weary. You know what I mean? And 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 you kind of lose that momentum a little bit. Whereas if you get like you got a nice old layoff and you're coming nice and fresh and you're starting out hungry again, you know that's 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 where you want to be. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's exactly it. Well, I think that's all we got today. I just want to recap yep. on the show. Uh, we got some exciting shows coming up that we we've been talking about and stuff. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good topics. We'll kind of piece that in when when we get there. But uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to spend the week researching on some stuff and uh, getting a good one for you next week, you guys. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate you watching our stuff. We love to talk about it. And knowing that we have people that listen just makes it that much better. Uh, so we really want to thank you for that. And, you know, like and subscribe. And, uh, yep. yeah, man, I mean, we will keep it. We will keep it. Keep it coming. And if you guys got comments, you guys have been giving us great comments, by the way. Love your comments. Uh, uh, keep it up. So we appreciate you guys. You guys have a good night. All right, man. Catch you easy.